This video is brought to you by GunMade.com, your number one source for guns, ammo, and gear. GunMade. Shop with confidence. This is Chris with GunMade.com. We're out here today testing RTS Tacticals 3 Plus uh, plates. Um, I'm going to go ahead and be wearing uh, a plate carrier from RTS Tactical and the 3 Plus plates while I'm doing the shooting. Downrange, uh, we're going to shoot the plates and see how they hold up to a variety of calibers. Let's get it going. One shot of nine millimeter hit here in the kind of upper left quadrant. I mean, the plate just shattered it. You can see there's a little bit there. The, the, the coating damaged here. You see we definitely have some spalling down here. Um, not enough velocity to, to tear through the um, fabric we have, okay? So nine millimeters not gonna challenge, uh, nine millimeters not gonna challenge a steel plate, uh, especially a three plus plate. But it's just interesting to, to see what we got. We're gonna go reset and do a nine millimeter PCC now. All right, now we're gonna shoot it with a pistol caliber carbine. This is a Grand Power Strybog, uh, shooting 124 grain, nine millimeter um, NATO spec. Here's our results with the nine millimeter PCC, the Strybog. Once again, you can see we have some spalling down here. Doesn't really look like there's too much damage to the fabric. Um, no real damage to the plate. You can see there where the bullet impacted, shattered. There's some um, definitely um, damage to the, the coating, but nothing you wouldn't expect um, from uh, a steel plate being hit. Now, if we look off here to the left, though, it does look like we have some damage, uh, pretty good damage here to the fabric um, into the wood that is my backing here. Um, that would not feel good. So the question is, you know, is, is that going up to towards your, towards your neck throat area? All right, let's go on to the next round. All right, so this time we're going to shoot the plate uh, with a Zastava... Um, PAP rifle chambered in 7.62 by 3.9. This should easily be within the plate's ability to defeat. Let's see how it goes. Let's go check it out. Looking at our uh, plate hit, we have our impact right here. When you compare it to the nine millimeter hit, the 7.62 definitely left more of an indentation on the target. Our coating is pretty well shot at this point, at least until we get down here. Um, looking at the back of the plate, there may be a slight, um, maybe a slight bulge, but nothing that, that is, completely obvious. Maybe the eye I can see a little bit, but I can't really feel anything. So once again, the plate held up, did its job. Uh, as always, my only concern with a metal plate is spalling. We're definitely getting some um, more damage to the fabric. Okay, so this time we're gonna shoot the plate with a PSA AK-74 chambered in 545 by 39. Let's see how still plate holds up to it. So this one actually, uh, I hit low and right. It wasn't the best shot. Um, we got a hit here, it stopped it, but it actually blew a hole through the fabric 
and went through the fabric and annihilated my wood. Um, so that would definitely be your hip being blown out um, or, or worse. Uh, but that is the shattered remnants of the uh, projectile right there. So the steel really did its job in that it shattered the um, main part of the projectile. And then we have a, a, a traveling um, remnants that, that went here into the wood. And it's really not um, that much damage in terms of what it could have been. So, plate's still holding up. Okay, we're gonna shoot now with a Smith & Wesson AR-15. We got an EOTech sight on top, shooting M193 556 uh, rounds. Let's see what we got. Okay, let's look at our hit. Uh, pretty good solid hit right in the center. Um, you can see that the uh, coating is definitely knocked away, torn away pretty good around it. Interestingly, it didn't come off in flakes like it did with the other stuff. Uh, There's definitely a little indentation that I can feel there, uh, but not too bad. But what we really noticed is that the fabric has been embedded um, into the wood of my stand by the spalling. So, once again, uh, the plate is defeating the round, but we're getting some real serious spalling, and if that spalling went somewhere that you really don't want to have uh, sharp metal objects going through, you're not going to be real pleased with your results. Um, so, you know, there's, there's a lot to be said about what's going on here in terms of, yes, we're defeating the bullet, right? You're not getting the full projectile through you, which is a big deal, but you're going to need metal to kill attention afterwards. Um, and hopefully just medical attention and not not um, anything worse than, than, than that. All right, let's reset and go on to what we have next. All right, now we're gonna shoot M855 green tips to see how the plate does against uh, ammo that is definitely rated to be uh, more effective against armor. So we can see here that we got a clean hit down here in a lower quadrant. Once again, the coating is pretty, pretty well annihilated near the point of impact. The fabric is pretty well annihilated as well, just below. You know, it's not a really obvious visible. It's a slight feel, okay? So you're not coming through and like shattering your ribs other than the whole plates pressure upon your body um, and that's something that I just don't have the tools to to measure uh, but holding up to green tip steel armor does its job once again you just don't know about how the spalling will affect you let's go to the next cartridge okay so this time we're going to shoot it with a century arm c308 we're shooting 7.62 by 51 just standard nato m80 ball uh, but we'll see how the plate holds up. All right, so here's what we have. Um, you can definitely see that the 308 did a lot more damage than everything else, okay? You could totally put your finger into that indentation there. Um, and you see compared to the other uh, areas we've shot, our spall guard is pretty well uh, uh, annihilated by this point. You can actually find part of it down here on the ground. Uh, the fabric is really eaten up. Now, um, let's turn it around and see what we got um, here. And you can see there's our indentation. That would not feel good. Um, if it stopped the projectile, right? It's, this feels way better than getting, getting an actual 308 through your gut. Um, but that's gonna, gonna leave a nasty bruise. I don't know if this is actually deep enough to shatter a rib, um, but it might be. Um, so we definitely have an indentation right there 
right where that would have hit. All right, last one. Good old M1 Garand, 30 out six. Let's see what we can do. All right, so the 30 out six does what 30 out six does, and it uh, it absolutely annihilated this plate. Um, you can see here that it does stop the main penetrator, I think, but it has some significant blow through um, of of particles, which would not not feel good at all. Now the question is, is how fatigued was this plate? No shots were in this area, um, but the plate totally surrenders um, in terms of, of what we get blowing through through the back. Again, the, the shape of the hole doesn't make me think that the bullet truly passes through, but there's enough force to blow through particles of both the plate and the um, projectile. The um, backup plate I had here um, is what we get a full stop on, okay? Um, and the, 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 the fabric, you can see there's just pieces of it embedded everywhere. Um, so yeah, we, we, we get some good damage. Um, overall, the plate does its job. Um, not many of us will ever get an opportunity or even want to have an opportunity to, to have our plate try to stop a 30 out six out of an M1 Garand. All right, so I hit it again with the Garand. It definitely did a lot better this time. I do not believe we have any penetration. Um, you know, so it's interesting. What, 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 why did we get, get some blow through here and get a complete stop on, on it this time uh, from this other side? This other location, yeah. So, so, so this time it did hold up. Um, so you can see the two different results here on the back uh, versus here on the front. All right, so that is the, the end of our shooting session with the RTS Tactical um, three plus plates. Overall, the plates held up really, really well. All right, guys, I needed to transfer over to um, this recording back at my house. The uh, audio and video I had from the range didn't end up working out the way I wanted. Uh, when I look at the plates, I'm really pretty pleased with how they held up, did a great, uh, with everything from 7.62 by 5.1 down. The only issue we eventually got was when shooting a uh, surplus M2 ball out of the M1 Garand, but three plus plates aren't rated for that high of a threat. Um, and I thought the plates uh, did well, even against the um, Garand, given the circumstances. You'll notice when you see a lot of the videos that where the plates um, struggle, and that's true for any steel plates, is with spalling. Um, as you watch the, the videos of the plates actually being impacted, you can see the fragments coming off um, the projectiles as they impact the plates, uh, some of them more spectacularly than others. The only thing that really would give me pause with these plates, and it's true with all steel plates, is that spalling. You can't get around it. You can do things to mitigate it. You can buy bags to put your plates in that are designed to help control and absorb that spalling. You can do the cross hatch duct tape patterns, which you can find videos of how to do in different ways on YouTube. 
some of those results that I've seen are impressive. I've not done it yet myself, but I plan to try the duct tape pattern at least to see what goes on. RTS Tactile's lightweight uh, level three plates are, are great for steel plates. RTS Tactical's advanced sleek uh, plate carrier, I really liked it. Uh, I'm very pleased with, with how it felt uh, wearing it for that shooting session and, and using it to carry the plates around. The plates are lightweight, uh, 5.9 pounds, that's lighter than a lot of ceramic plates. Overall, I feel like this is an excellent buy. And if you're in the market for body armor, and you are comfortable with steel plates, and you're comfortable with the issues that steel plates can have, then definitely give RTS a look. I don't think you'll be disappointed.